Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, I've got what I think should be an awesome video to check out today because it is titled Time Lapse of Every Battle in History. Now this video has been out for four years. It has 14 million views. So I'm excited to check this out. I wonder where they're gonna start because if they're gonna go for like written confirmation of battles, then you would probably need to start with the Battle of Megiddo um, by Egypt. When Egypt uh, and the New Kingdom was looking to expand north into the Levant, um, it, which was its greatest extent in history, that was around the 15th century BC or, you know, whatever they're going to start. So I'm interested to check this out. Now, the original video link you can check out is going to be down below. This is a channel called Kotoro. Sorry if I said that wrong. So sit back, relax, and let's find out how violent our species has actually been. All right, this is going to be an ambitious attempt of trying to put, uh, you know, a, a map, make a map, a time lapse of every battle in history. I'll try to give context, may have some questions for you, so let's do this together. All right, here we go. The history of every battle. Video shows every battle referenced on Wikipedia. I wonder how much of these will have, if they're gonna go, okay, they're starting at 2500 BC. Now the first, like, a lot of people say like legitimately written and recorded and like verifiable, I guess, war, uh, is Battle Megiddo, which was with, uh, with Egypt. And um, they were coming up here into what's called the Levant area. Hopefully you can see my, um, my mouse here, but this is the Eastern side of the Mediterranean. They were fighting a, you know, coalition basically of different groups like the Canaanites. And that was written and been kind of verified. So if they're going to have some stuff, and that was, by the way, was about 1500 BC or around there. Um, battles before that, I would like to know from you guys if they put up any here of what is kind of the source material and what is, is it, is it, and the verifiability of it. But let's check with there. All right. Other things the map looks like we got a box country and battles one. So maybe there'll be a, a scoreboard here, I guess. All right, I run it through. Okay, so yes, we did. So it's before Battle Megiddo, so we do see some stuff. We see some stuff in Mesopotamia. Okay, we have up there China. So we got uh, China, which had never been unified up to this point, largely. Um, but we got that going on. And then, yeah, this, so we got one in Armenia, Akkad. Okay, so Akkad is considered often by many to be the first empire, a, a group, a centralized group that ruled over a diversity of subject peoples with Sargon of Akkad, known as like the first emperor. But, um, but yeah, textual evidence, I guess we're not seeing that, even though we're gonna have uh, cuneiform and that kind of stuff, but hard to preserve and verify a lot of that. But let's go ahead and jump up. Hopefully we see one pop up around here. Okay, yep, yeah, so Megiddo. See, you see these ones up here. This was Egypt, got their furthest extent up here, all the way up to almost the headwaters of the Tigris and Euphrates. All right, we got Northern India. We should see plenty of military history up here. China still going on. We should be getting to the Qin Dynasty soon here in a couple hundred years, which was the first real, like, you know, really unified um, uh, China, where it got its name. All right, we're in classical Greek time now, so now we're going to see a whole bunch of that because there's a lot of written records over here. We had the Persian Wars, and then we're going to have the um, Peloponnesian War, so a lot of recording there. Uh, Going to be getting to Punic Wars, too. Should Yep, we're seeing, you know, a lot of the fight over the Sicilian island there, which is a major part between the Carthaginians and the Romans, but we're still Roman Republic era, but that's going to be coming to an end. All right, Roman under, oh, Rome under Republic era was taking over the whole rim here of the uh, Southern Europe, Northern Mediterranean, where they conquered Spain. Should see some uh, stuff popping up here with Julius Caesar as they were pressing up. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. You see how, how, how aggressive that was over here in what's in modern day France. Um, you know, Caesar and their legions, uh, you know, they massacred <laughs> by billions probably of the Gauls up here. Um, up here in, in, in France. Okay, but we are moving to the uh, Imperial Age because his end, his rule ends the sort of uh, Republic Age. Get Rome pushing around. Um, yep, at the East too. Okay, we got some here in Central Asia. We got stuff going on. All right, turn of the millennium. Roman, uh, uh, Roman Empire era now. They're gonna start spreading up. You're going up north into southern England, and they'll get kind of Wales, cut off about where Scotland is. That's the farthest they go, and they just kind of hold on to that. We got some other stuff going on. We got Arabia. We got uh, Alexandria. So we got some stuff going on there in northern there. All right, this is the Han Dynasty is going to be coming in. That's kind of the seen as like the golden age of classical uh, ancient um, uh, 
um, China, okay? And so, but no empire building really ever happens without warfare, to some extent, right? All right, anyway, uh, Roman uh, Empire is going to, Western Rome is going to collapse here um, in 476. So we should see a whole bunch of invasions, and we already are. Germanic invasions into Western Europe. Okay, still got, you know, if you notice, not really popping much here in Africa. <laughs> um, don't make that believe you there was no war there. But written records in this time in Africa are almost non-existent. So, got to verify that stuff. Sweden. Right here in the Black Sea. Right where Kaffa was, there was a dot up there. Entrance to the Black Sea, therefore the Mediterranean. Southern India, we got stuff. All right, we got a whole bunch of new groups. Again, keep, you can keep an eye and pause on this and check out the Islamic Caliphate. Okay, yeah, good time to notice this. This is uh, Muhammad has now died, and uh, his followers and groups after and converts to Islam are now pushing east into the Persian region and then west into North Africa and eventually up to Spain, of course. Umayyad Caliphate expanded it greatly out here in the west. So. This is the age of that, and yeah, that's why you have Islamic Caliphate. And there were multiples. Okay, you get the Rashidun, which is kind of the first, the Umayyad, and eventually the Abbasid, that's going to be later on. All right, kind of got a pretty balanced sense of warfare and battles going on around the world. Now, they haven't shown the Americas or Australia, and it's, you know, I don't think that there wasn't battles, but. They're just not putting them up here. We'll see if that changes. All right, Viking Age. Viking Age, you're seeing a whole bunch of battles and stuff over here in um, Britain. All right, we are now into the Crusades. So up to this point in Europe, a lot of stuff's gone on. You got the Viking Age, you got the Franks who are, you know, expanding their empire here in kind of Central and Western Europe. Uh, we are now about to hit the Crusades, 1096, so what we should probably see is some battles going on from, well, not Constantinople yet, so that's going to be later, but here in uh, the Eastern Mediterranean, eventually, of course, getting to Jerusalem, should be the fourth of, or the first of four, uh, first of four Crusades, the first one being the only one successful by the Christian West. For the fourth, the Christians started fighting each other. <laughs> So yeah, we are in the Crusades, and that is, you know, multiple Crusades over uh, decades. All right, we got, ooh, we got a whole bunch of um, these time periods in Japan. Keep an eye on Japan. Uh, a lot of clan rivalry, you know, they consolidate, they, they break apart. So a lot of that going on here. Kind of the age of the samurais picking up over there. Yeah, I'm not trying to get focused on too many parts. Up in the Baltic, we got um, that going on. All right, Age of the Mongols has really begun. We got, uh, we've got, we got the Mongols coming and absolutely crashing in to everyone here. Uh, they're going to be heading here to Russia. They're going to be down here towards Mesopotamia. And of course, eventually getting into Japan, which they failed to take. Crush the Abbasid Caliphate over here. There's an empire. All right, uh, we had the plague and the succession, or and the, the succeeding... 100 years war, so we should be seeing uh, about now a bunch of war happening around France um, and you're going to get England, France, and kind of this whole region here because that came kind of right along with the plague, which really hit its highs in Europe around the 1330s, 40s. Soon we should get uh, wars of religion in Central Europe, especially here, as the Reformation's about to hit. We're about to hit Columbus as well. Columbus is going to be leaving here in a second. But starting in the 1500s here, we should see uh, some uh, whole bunch of fighting. Christians or Catholics, Protestants, all the branches of Protestants, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, get open out. Okay, Age of Exploration is in full heat now, so there should be some skirmishes outside of the map area right now. Avalon, oh, man, look at this. Just warfare. I can't, I can't do context for all this. We're able to long. Look at what's going on. Oh, world map. Okay, sweet. 1700s. Um, 1750, we're going to hit the Seven Years War. In the Seven Years War, um, England versus France, and each of them had a whole bunch of allies. They're going to fight each other in India. They're going to fight each other back in Europe. Of course, fight each other in the Americas. So, often considered the First World War. But yeah, a lot of this is going to be imperial versus colonial or indigenous peoples. 
all around. Yeah, we should see start. Yeah, start seeing more in Africa, South America. Okay, a bunch of things just passed here. Actually, I want to go back. Um, let's look at North America real fast. So, okay, 1728. So we're almost to the Seven Years' War, which is in the 1750s. Um, which you should see this. Anything else you see also before that and after the American Revolution and Civil War is going should be uh, conflicts with indigenous peoples of North America. So, you see that Europe has never stopped fighting, so there's not much more to comment on that. Let's see, 1775 is really when the revolution the, the begins. Okay, the Seven Years' War. Okay, boom, bam, bam, bam. See all that? So that's the French and the Americans. Fighting off the British. All right, so now we got colonial battles, uh, Western expansion happening here. It's what all these should be, you know, considering. Again, we see all these flashes. Um, now, keep in mind, it's the 1880s. A bunch of things happening. We got consolidation of the German Empire. But um, remember, this is height. This is the beginning of the Second Industrial Revolution, where battles are now going to be bigger and more deadly because of new weaponry. A big string of Nile battles, battles around the Nile. Okay. Oh, we just missed a whole bunch of things. I do not. We know it goes too fast. We gotta look. It's World War One and World War Two time. So keep an eye in uh, here on the the timeline down below. Okay. We need to go about 1914 and 1918. Let's see a big explosion there, and then the big explosion, of course, between 1939 and 1949 with the World Wars. All right. Let's see. It's probably gonna be in like. Well, the whole thing probably over five seconds so all right world war one's over and world war two started and world war two <laughs> you see that let's look at that light show again it's 1880 let's let's look i mean of course it's gonna be all over but especially let's look in europe here boom world war one cool down world war two so much bigger the world war two scope was that's crazy all right we're cold war now what's good about this next era we're looking at here this is 1953 <laughs> Uh, which, I mean, it's still showing some of the lights that were, um, some lights that were going on, you know, it's still left over from World War II, but now, let's imagine this, 1953, now with major powers, the thing to be, you know, concerned about is nuclear war now, right? We're in the Cold War, so let's see if now, you know, the first century of the 20th century, or first half of the 20th century, the last half of the 20th century, Let's see now if that, the the rush of, you know, big, big battles is going to be as big. Okay. All right, cools down. Ah, Suez, K. Okay, we got um, one thing I want to note to you now. Let me get to about where, where I want to be. Okay, let's stop by here. 1970s, we're in the 60s. Now we're going to get these uh, Arab-Israeli wars um, happening over here, which was of, you know, grave conflict. Uh, we also have Vietnam. Um, Vietnam War is going on over here as well. So uh, we have uh, issues with Pakistan, or sorry, not uh, over here in Bangladesh. So, but yeah, um, major conflicts right over here. The boom blow up there. 1990s, uh, Yugoslav War. Yugoslav War, keep an eye on this one. This was very bad. First European Wars post, uh, right there, post uh, World War II. Yugoslavia breaks up, very deadly in that conflict. All right, 9-11. We got 9-11. Let's, let's, let's rewind and start about right there. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to see Iraq blow up and Afghanistan. You saw them come up around similar time. Yeah, that's because uh, there was two-pronged kind of war. There was a war in Iraq with the United States and um, Iraq, and then uh, fighting the Taliban, hunting down Al-Qaeda and stuff over here in Afghanistan. And it will remain, even though by this time, it's 2017, both uh, Saddam Hussein and Osama bin Laden have been killed, although uh, bin Laden was killed in Pakistan, just a little bit closer to India there. All right, it looks like the video stops in 2017. Look at Africa right now. This is civil war. Now, why so much civil war? This is still the decolonization era. After World War II, when empires, you know, classical empires couldn't hold on to their uh, empires anymore. Countries were getting their independence. Some, some would be peaceful. European nation would just kind of give over the country, but that was very difficult for the, the home people. And then some of those new places then had, had civil wars within each other due to a long history of, you know, they had been controlled by European power, 
and kind of kept the peace between the diverse groups of tribal communities, or whatever, in, in Africa. And then, you know, drew up a lot of borders. We know about the um, um, the Berlin Conference in the 1880s, where Europeans started to uh, set up rules about making borders. And they would make these borders not to represent the local peoples and traditional pure European borders, but more just to settle disputes between other colonial powers. And unfortunately, what that did is when those countries got their independence, there was so much, uh, there was uh, linguistic differences amongst these countries and religious tribal differences. And a lot of, unfortunately, in a lot of those areas, those, those uh, turned to war, to civil war. Right. Anything else for us here? Oh my. Okay. I'm assuming this is uh, all of them from out the whole video. It started in 2500 BC, you guys. 2500 BC. This went to 1997. Now, of recorded history. Remember, we are talking recorded history, right? Okay, there's plenty of stuff that's not going to be in here that just wasn't recorded for various reasons. But from that, just look. Europe, holy cow. It's like you all just spent 4,000 years just killing each other. <laughs> and it's uh, even further in uh, the Middle East, unfortunately. But yeah, um, you can see in the US, you know, a lot going on there, down through Mexico, again, another colonial power and uh, civil wars down there, all kinds of similar things. Of, Wars of revolutions down in, in there, Africa, all over the place for a lot of reasons, Japan and Korea. Yikes. So, I got a question for you because um, I want you to use the map to do this. Looking at this, what is your impression about the history of the world based off of just looking at, like, there's not even been words here, they're just showing things. What, do you, what are you taking away? What are you coming away with? from this video um, about our history, obviously with, with fighting. All right, final thoughts, don't go anywhere. All right, so you heard my question there, um, which was, you know, what, coming away from this, and hopefully I was able to add a lot of context. That's what, that's what I was hoping this type of video would be, is something I can add context to. But I learned plenty about lots of stuff, and it actually just left me with more questions. There's a lot of stuff I learned from that map that I don't know, that I actually didn't learn about certain regions. There was a bunch of dots in places that I had no idea, to be honest, what was going on. So feel free to help me out with that. If you notice anything, you want to shout out any of the, the battles and their significance, you know, throw them down in the comments there. But my question as we were leaving was, what, what are you taking away from this? Is it more battles than you thought? Is it fewer? Is it about where you thought it would be? What does it tell us about the history of our planet and us as humans? All right, hopefully you found this informational. Uh, I had a lot of fun checking this out uh, just to learn and get that visual perspective. So awesome. All right. Okay. Um, thanks again to the original creator, the original one with like the original mu cool music and other stuff in there. Uh, that link is going to be down below. So make sure, support make sure you're supporting that. That video has like 14 million views. So uh, it's been popular, and you'll probably hear a lot of discussions in their comment section. But please leave a bunch of comments down below about your observations from the video. And with that, we'll see you next time.